Days after his nomination, the man chosen to lead Lebanon toward Beirut's shattered neighborhoods. We will work hand in hand to rebuild what was destroyed. The visit was important for Prime Minister-designate Mustafa Adib. He wasn't Prime Minister in August when an explosion at Beirut's port damaged much of the capital. But residents still accuse him of being part of the mismanagement that contributed to the disaster. <laughs> Nearly 200 people were killed when an abandoned stockpile of ammonium nitrate exploded. Many homes were destroyed too, including Nadim Srurus. The expat returned to Lebanon with his wife and kids last year, just a month before the banking system imploded and the Lebanese pound crashed. The value of all the money he saved over the years has been slashed. We don't know what to do. My wife says we should return to the Gulf, but our house is damaged and our money is stuck at the bank. How can I just leave everything and go? I have to take care of my parents. Nadim's story is not unique. Many people find themselves at the bank each day, trying to access whatever little money they have left. I saved money for my senior years, and now I need to fix my house. But the bank refuses to give it to me. The central banks placed limits on money leaving accounts. Clients don't have free access to their deposits and can't make international transfers. It clamped down as the Lebanese pound lost more than 80% of its value against the dollar in recent months. The situation's ignited regular protests since last year. We need the truth about what happened at the port and the truth about the corruption because we can't bear it anymore. The pandemic and explosion in Beirut have only made Lebanon's economic situation worse. A bailout is being negotiated, but the government's resisting the International Monetary Fund's demands for reforms. And several Lebanese negotiators have already resigned. They say they are vested interests, undermining the recovery plan. But Prime Minister Adib promised to spearhead the recommended reforms. The government should be among the experts who will quickly and professionally handle the presented dossiers and restore the confidence of the Lebanese people. Many Lebanese doubt a deal's really in the making. Protesters say it's all a ploy by the political class to avoid opening their books and revealing the source of their wealth. Regan Devine, TRT World.